Hey, acupuncture family. All right, so in our video this week, we're just gonna relax, we're gonna have a little chat, and I'm gonna tell you a bit about me. I know some of you don't really know who I am, don't really know why I became an acupuncturist, how come I'm the six-figure acupuncturist? How did I get here? How am I coaching everyone now? So I'm going to give you a little inside look at me so we can get to know each other better. Also, for those of you that do already know me, make sure that you stick around to the end because giving a little life update on what's next. As you know, I am an adventurer, an adventurous <laughs> woman, and we never know where I'm going to be. So, currently, I am 41 years old. When I was 23 years old, I woke up one day incredibly sick. I had fever, I had chills, I was just exhausted, I couldn't really think straight, I had headache, I had no appetite, and I started to go to doctor after doctor, different hospitals. What kept happening at these hospitals is that they would do my blood work and nothing would come up out of the ordinary. And so because I was 23 and generally a healthy person, they were all just like, oh, you have the flu, just go home. And this was my first experience of really seeing how Western medicine works. Now, I think that we need Western medicine. You know, that's why we're on the mission to integrate our medicines together. But I do find that they lack, especially in diagnostic ways, where us as Eastern practitioners can really understand how to read the body. So after five weeks of doctor after doctor visit, uh, it was finally discovered that I had a bacterial infection in my heart. This was discovered because the bacteria had eaten away my mitral valve to the point of having a massive uh, uh, prolapse. Um, they started to mow the lawn, so I've decided to take you on a little walk instead of staying in the desert right now. That's what you're gonna see in the background. So after five weeks of doctor after doctor visit, it was discovered that I had a bacterial infection in my heart. It had eaten away my mitral valve to the point of my heart was swelling, my blood was pumping backwards, and the doctors told me that I had to have open heart surgery um, to fix the valve. So at age 23, I had open heart surgery, uh, which really was a very eye-opening experience to Western medicine for me. There was so much that happened during that time with quality of my care, being dependent upon my health insurance, um, being over medicated to the point the room spinning, just the depressing energy in the hospitals. So after I was finally healed from that experience, I just knew that there had to be more to healing the body than just Western medicine. Um, and I'd always read a lot on Eastern culture and Eastern healing. And at that point I decided to become an acupuncturist. So I went to school, I graduated, I got licensed and I opened up my practice in Santa Monica in uh, California in 2011. And for the first few years, two years, I really struggled. You know, like so many of us do, I struggled and I almost gave up. Um, I had no support, I didn't know who to turn to. So many of my colleagues and my friends were struggling. And in my third year in practice, things shifted and things started to click. And for the first time I worked on my mindset, I learned about a money mindset, I learned about a success mindset, and uh, I dove into that area in my life when I'd never before done that, and that was a game changer. Um, I had my first six-figure year, and every year after that was six figures. So after that, my colleagues started to come to me and ask for help. 
So I would invite everybody into my office and I would answer all their questions and just teach them anything that I'd learned in the last few years of being in practice. And everybody always told me how helpful this was for their business. So knowing that practitioners in our profession struggle a lot, being someone that almost gave up myself, uh, I decided to create an online program so that I could really help a lot more people in our profession. Little did I know when I launched that program that acupuncturists all over the world were having the same challenges that we were having in the States. And so since launching that in 2014, uh, it has spread all over the world. I've now lectured all over the world. I've lectured all over the States. I've taught thousands of practitioners. I'm in contact with all of you all the time. I've met so many of you around the world in meetups. I absolutely love that. And it's just been incredible. So in 2018, I actually went full-time into coaching, which is what I do full-time now. Um, and I just love it. Uh, it's been incredible and such a blessing to make a difference in our profession, to connect with so many of you, to see so many of you blossom and thrive, and so many of you treating so many more patients, which is our whole mission. You know, our mission is to mainstream Eastern medicine and to heal the world with acupuncture and love. And by helping everyone have more successful practices, we just treat more and more and more and more and more patients. And these days, especially, it is vital for our medicine to get out to the general public. Um, it is very serious right now, the censorship that's happening with holistic medicine. And so the more that we become successful on the ground and the more that word of mouth is spread about our profession and about our medicine, the better that it's going to be just for the health of humanity. So what we're up to is very, very, very important. And I just always like to remind you of that. So um, since going full time into coaching, uh, since my business is now based on the computer, I've done a lot of travel. I've lived all over the world. I really haven't had a stable home base since 2018. Uh, at the beginning of 2020, I came back to the United States with the intention of creating home base. Little did I know I was going to come right into a pandemic. Sounds like there's now construction that way. We're going to turn around again. <laughs> so the last um, year and a half has not been exactly what I had pictured it would be. So I am still really feeling my heart longing for a home base. Uh, but after being back in the States for a year and a half, I realized that it's, this isn't my spot. So in 2019, I spent a lot of time on Bali. So you might be imagining what I'm going to say next. Uh, but I recently applied for a special visa to get back into Bali and it's been approved and it's been accepted. So um, I feel really excited. I'm leaving for Bali next week and my plan is to create a home base there. Um, I still, you know, love the world. I love living out in the world. I love exploring the world. But I've learned that I don't like being a nomad. I don't like living out of suitcases. So um, I'm going to go out to Bali with the intention of creating my home base there. So I do plan still to come to the Western worlds, uh, to come back to the United States and, you know, stay for a few months at a time. Who knows? Um, but the home base will be in Bali. So some of you may have seen this story I put up a few months ago just really experiencing the contrast between living in nature and living in a city again. The nature, hot scooter riding, crop top, wild woman life, <laughs> frizzy hair. So moving to Bali. That is just a little bit behind the scenes. Um, let me know down in the comments if you like learning more about me. I'm going to start to include a bit more of these behind the scenes things where we're just going to chat a little bit, uh, intermix with my teaching videos too. Be sure that you always, you know, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to be notified when my new videos come out every week. And uh, 
next week I'll be moving to oh actually when I post this uh, I'll probably already be in Bali so that's gonna be exciting it's not out here <laughs> I think it's like 100 degrees hey acupunk <laughs> you're just so blessed oh, I hit my microphone 